video diary for Friday. I've got to make uh, young Brett. That's old Brett, and that's young Brett. Young Brett's in the dozer. He only got about half done yesterday. He worked pretty late last night. Oh, I'm in the way of the laser level. Um, Brett's shooting the levels here for him. Yeah, he worked late last night, and uh, he got two inches of rain in an hour, so he had to pull up stumps because it was actually going into the cabin. Brett's just shooting off the, uh, the levels. Um, you can see that over there, that's all fill behind Brett there. From sort of this point here, back to the star. All that there is fill from what he's done yesterday, which is take out all the, uh, continue that batter down from where the tanks used to be and go right out. But he's still got about another metre to go down. Well, you can sort of see here how far he's got to go down still. That's his level there, so he's that's his level there. So he's that all that there, right across the side, it's got to go about another meter or so. Friday continued, so you can just see to give you an idea, that's where the slides were, that's where the old water tank is, and that down there is Brett with our laser level. There's the laser there, and that there is level. That there's spot on. That is a shit ton of dirt. Okay, video diary day five or whatever it is, I think the Friday continued. Uh, that's the old sheds and the play equipment. You can reference that from previous videos. And that was the batter there to where about the water tanks were, about this, this sort of level. But now they've cut all that and all that all the way to our finished height over there. So that's all the one height. You can see Brett down there, so you get an idea of the scale. So this little line here, that's the edge where it batters down, so you get a sort of indication of how how much is actually done, because it is massive. It is massive. Almost bigger than Brett's ego. I shouldn't say that, it's a good man. But uh, yeah, we've been chipping away today, and Mick and I have just finished the, uh, the trusses as well, so we're ready to roll as soon as we can get a rig on. Right, I <laughs> saw it, Dory, for, uh, for Saturday. Um, the cut, you can see here, that's the play equipment in the shed up on the hill. The cut's basically finished, that's all roughly level, that's all fill from, from about uh, there, I think. Their back is all fill. Um, we're just setting out all the hurdles at the minute to get blazed at all the heights, and we're just uh, going to mark out our holes. We're going to drill, uh, drill a few of them today and just see how we go through the rock. As you can see, Mick's got a new hat. Um, it's been hotly debated whether or not he should even wear it, but anyway, he likes it. So yeah, we're just marking out now and uh, we'll get drilling soon. Right, oh, Saturday continued. This is us boring our first hole. You can see his white mark on the borer. That's where we've got to get to, that's 900. You see all our holes we've marked out with string lines and plumbed down. So that's exactly where our stumps have got to go. I'll come over and give you a better look at what we're dealing with. It's pretty much 98% rock. Hop a bear too. Twenty three to go. All right, this is Saturday. Continue. Um, try and go back a bit so you can see, but basically, when he's drilling, it's moving entire sections of the ground because. This piece, sort of through there, that crack, and like, for example, that crack there, that's all one layer of, one layer of sort of a crust, I suppose. So you can see there, the whole earth just moved a bit. Let's 
started drilling this hole. This whole ground is pushing into this hole here. So you've got to be really careful. Just note, if this site had been inspected properly by someone, people would understand the situation we're up against here. Right, the Saturday continued drilling. It's at the start of a hole. Look how much the uh, earth can move. Fuck. Um, there it is. So the entire, the entire crust is all coming up. It's just fucking making a meal on it, really. Who knows where our fucking hole is supposed to be. Saturday continued, um, we're onto the really rocky side of the site now. Um, you can see as you say drilling this one, it's cracked out all the way to here. I mean we are drilling fucking, you can't really see there because of the sludge, but we are drilling straight through rock. Like it is, some of them are alright, others are just smashed. You can see the crack down here. I continued. So did I continued. Um, Brett's still out there while we're doing some drilling. We've only got, uh, I think, six holes. Left. That being said, we have to come back here Monday morning and um, re-clear them. It's Saturday now, we can't pour till Monday because the steel shop and the concrete can't get here till Monday. So we're going to meet back here Monday with a um, with uh, young Brett up in the dozer, the auger, big, big beefy Brett, myself and Mick, the dream team, and um, clear out the holes, put the cages in, and four. As you can see this weather can turn on a dime. Before it was probably the hottest day on record and now it's probably record rainfall today. So a bit of everything over here in paradise. Welcome. We've actually snapped the bolt that holds the auger on. Shit it right off. So uh, not much more we can do today.